let us discuss this example here we have to find the value of this integration okay so we are going to use cauchy's residue theorem to find the value of this integration let us write the given integral first which we have already written so see they have mentioned this integral over a curve c where c is a circle okay mod z is equal to 1 so you know that the standard equation of circle is mod z minus z naught is equal to r so when you have a circle like this its center is z naught and radius is r so if you have a circle this one so if you compare with that one you can easily see z naught is not there that means it is 0 so that's why center is 0 0 0 origin what about its radius so right hand side is 1 and their right hand side is r so radius is 1 we have got let us draw the circle here okay let me remove this one okay so i'm go going to draw a circle with center 0 0 and radius 1 so our circle will be like this 1 comma 0 okay so this is a given circle let us write the given function f of z here what is our f of z f of z is equal to the integral which we have z plus 1 upon z cube minus 2z square so easily we can take z square common so let us take it outside so z square z minus 2 so it has two singularities z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 2 since if you put these values denominator will be 0 so let me write here here z is equal to 0 okay this is also singular point but it has power 2 so is a pole is a pole of order 2 getting and z is equal to 2 second is z is equal to 2 since if i put z is equal to 2 then also denominator will be 0 so is a simple pole simple pole means pole of order 1 getting so since it has power 1 but the problem is that those poles okay should lie inside a circle then only we consider and we find their residues so let us find z is equal to 0 it lies inside a circle but z is equal to 2 it lies outside a circle okay so if any pole or if any singularity lie outside a circle or outside a region we do not consider that thing let me write that thing here here z is equal to 0 lies inside c inside c and z is equal to 2 lies outside c okay outside a curve c so that means we have to find residue only at z is equal to 0 since it lies inside so let us find residue residue at z is equal to 0 so this is equal to see 1 upon 1 upon so this is pole of order 2 so that's why i should use the second formula the second formula is 1 upon n minus 1 factorial n is 2 here 2 minus 1 1 factorial i should write here okay limit z tends to 0 we have to take derivative n minus 1 derivative but n is 2 2 minus 1 1 so i should take one derivative okay so z square f of z z minus z naught raised to n z naught is 0 so that's why simply i wrote z square we are going to solve it further but uh, i suggest to make a screenshot of it then we will go further let us simplify it further so this is equal to 1 upon 1 factorial which is 1 no need to write limit z tends to 0 right derivative we have to take z square let me write the value of function here okay what is function we have z plus 1 we had taken z square common here so z square z minus 2 this thing we have so z square z square we can easily cancel therefore we will have limit z tends to 0 derivative of z plus 1 upon z minus 2 right see we have to take derivative and we have numerator denominator so that's why we have to apply u upon v formula let me remove this one it is not required now okay so we have to use u upon v formula to find its derivative limit z tends to 0 i hope you re remember the formula we read denominator first z minus 2 into derivative of numerator 1 minus we write numerator z plus 1 after that we write derivative of denominator its derivative is 1 divided by square of denominator right after that instead of simplifying further i will directly apply the limit since finally we have to put this one z is equal to 0 let us put it here let us see what will happen minus 2 correct here if you if i put z is equal to 
zero we will have one divided by minus two square that means it is minus three correct and this is four so minus three by four so this is a value of residue see only one pole was lying inside so that's why we have to find residue only at z is equal to zero which we have done let us apply Cauchy's residue theorem let me write that thing here so by Cauchy's residue theorem let us see Cauchy's residue theorem what will you get by Cauchy's residue theorem integration over c z plus 1 upon z cube minus 2 z square dz is equal to 2 pi i sum of residues this is Cauchy's residue theorem but we take sum of residues at those poles only which lie inside and here only one pole lie inside lies inside which is z is equal to 0 so let us put its value here so its value is minus 3 by 4 we had got getting so what will happen 2 2 will get cancelled minus 3 pi i y 2 so this is a required answer make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye